All right, day one, Lake Champlain. It's the eighth tournament on the Elite Series. I feel like the year has kind of flown by, but now we're all in on smallmouth for the last three. I have not caught a largemouth at all since we've been to Champlain, and that's uncharacteristic for me. But, you know, I've, I've just kept up with the weights and how it's been going, the trends over the past couple years here. And I feel like that's what you have to do is just commit to smallmouth to have those consistently good bags. So we're gonna hopefully piece it together Catch some four pounders. You know those are those are hard to come by. Three pounders are fairly common, so don't want to weigh any of those in. Every, the smallest fish we need to weigh in. That's the goal for today. Don't weigh in any less than three and a half pounds. And I think we'll be all right. So that's the plan. this eight days of competition. So we're on Lake Champlain late in the summertime here. You know, this is the time of year where the smallmouth really transition onto chasing on bait a lot. So a lot of these fish are roaming. They're not really on the isolated cover. I didn't really find them on the isolated boulders and stuff like that, but they really are still in those same areas. They're just roaming around chasing bait. So really just kind of got to be fortunate and run into them, you know, multiple times a day to catch kind of the bag that you want to catch. So we're going to chase them today. We're going to chase them big smallmouth that are feeding on bait. Hopefully we collide with them a few times today, but that's just kind of how my game plan was. I never caught a largemouth in practice at all. So we're all in on smallmouth. It's 23 days in a row. I don't care if I zero on day four as long as I make it. Who do you think is your biggest competition uh, this tournament? The fish, the, the smallmouth. They, they swim around so fast and so much. They're definitely the only people I'm focusing on beating this week. He's a four-time Bass Master winner and a proud member of Team Mercury, Jacob Brosnick. Love you, Tom. Going out and meeting you the air race and watch them all day long. Oh, 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 little shad imitating little bait just trying to look like the shad that are swimming around here That one. I don't see him now. Oh yeah, there's he's got followers. in a second.
Got one that time. Baby. Hog tied him. It came off. Can you slide that bag over under my console, if you don't mind? He's on this side, so I had to switch it up a little bit. He ain't big, but... I think that's a good one. He's skinny. Super skinny. Super, super disappointing day. You know, I just, I couldn't find them. I tried, I fished a lot of new water today. I fished some of the old water that I had that was protected that I thought I could catch them off of and then a lot of new water. And I just never had that collision with them today. I, I just kind of picked one off here and there. Definitely gonna have to regroup and try to figure out how to locate them tomorrow because if I catch 20 tomorrow, it'll bump me back up to, you know, I'm definitely not in contention to win the tournament, but back up, we got a shot going into St. Lawrence most likely. So definitely 
you gotta regroup tonight and then figure out how to catch a big, big bag tomorrow. I just called just a second ago. Oh, there are that tip. Yep. I had two twos? I did, I had two two and a half. Got a chain over there. I might see you there. In the two days I don't check, you can't. I'll say it enough time. I'll tell you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What did you call it for? I threw it back at 235. <laughs> so today was an absolute disaster. It started off pretty good. I caught, I caught one really, really fast. It was like a three pounder. I was like, I'm not, you know, it didn't really matter at the time. I thought I wasn't going to weigh it in. And then I ran like four or five more spots. And I couldn't, I never got another bite. So I ran back to where I caught a three pounder and I caught like a 370. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna leave here till I got till I got them. So I fished around there for like an hour. I never caught another one. So then I just ran all over the place. And just kind of caught one very, very sporadically. So I gotta figure out tomorrow where the wind is moving to. You got more. <laughs> Look at that squeaker. <laughs> what did he say? He said, oh, you're right, 16. Came into this event in second place in her progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Five fish here today. Winning, top of the world, the globe is spinning, spinning. If you know, you know, I've been on it. A one point difference between him and Brandon Cobb coming into this event. And today, five fish. Sixteen pounds and nine ounces. He moves into sixty and plays currently with sixteen nine. No time to wait though. Elon Musk, I'm trying to make it. Digging deep in that DMC Wayne bag. I just I just did it. W's only, you know I've been. Let's hear it for Kyle Welcher. Top of the world, the globe is. 16 9, so survive today. I mean, uh, obviously the goal is going to be a little bit bigger tomorrow, but man, you survived today back here safe. Got to be happy about that. Yeah, that, that's about the only way we survived is we made it back. But, you know, super disappointing day. I try to stay, I try to get in front of the fish. Uh, I've checked a couple places where I've really found a bunch in practice and I couldn't really get anything going, so I really ran around and tried to find where they were kind of moving to. And towards the end of the day, I think maybe. We cracked a little bit of the code, so looking forward to tomorrow and making up a lot of ground because, I mean, I want to stay in the hunt for AOI and I want to make it come down to next week, so we got to catch tomorrow to do that. Don't make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Tell us your tomorrow game plan. Man. Man. If the wind blows down, I'm going to catch you.